This is chapter 5, learning objective 4, looking at the pseudo laws and rates. Each employer's rates based upon their experience rating. Um, and new employers pay uh, an additional contribution, uh, I mean, an initial contribution rate that's going to apply for a specific period of time until they can get some experience and then their rate will be um, adjusted. Some states utilize a reserve ratio formula to lower the contributions based on low risk of unemployment. So this is what I was talking about when um, you know accountants have a lower risk of unemployment than construction workers or car workers. Nonprofits have an option to reimburse the state for the actual amount of unemployment benefits paid rather than paying a percentage. So basically, if nonprofits have employees that um, draw un, uh, unemployment, the nonprofit has to pay for it. Uh, the Suited Dumping Prevention Acts mandates that states enact laws to stop businesses from lowering their unemployment rates through creating new entities. Um, so some clever people uh, had a high rate because a lot of their uh, people, they were in a high risk area, uh, industry, maybe construction companies. So uh, they would just change uh, the name, create a new company uh, to lower their rates. So there's acts uh, to prevent that and basically a lot of the laws that we have are due to litigation and people trying to get around the law. The pseudo rate, um, the experience rating, it reflects the stability of the employer's employment history. So if you have lower unemployment rate, uh, you know, as people, you know, in like I was saying accounting firms, then they're going to have a lower rate. Um, the most common formula that's used to determine the rate is the reserve ratio formula. And I don't really have any slides to show you this, but it's in your textbook. Uh, there's a good example of uh, how to calculate uh, this reserve ratio formula. Uh, once the calculations are done, then uh, the, if you have a, a positive reserve ratio, uh, positive balance uh, as a result of this formula being applied, then you're going to experience a lower tax rate because what it means is that the employer has built up a balance in reserve. And so what we're talking about here is we're looking at the total wages paid and compared to the unemployment uh, benefits that have been paid uh, to with regards to that employer, former employees. So it's sort of like a bank account uh, for each company where every all the uh, SUDA that you've paid goes into the bank account and then um, uh, all of the unemployment benefits that are paid from your bank account, which would be former employees uh, withdrawing on that, um, reduces it. So if you've got more in there that's been than what's been paid out, you've got a balance in reserve. That's what this means. So you're going to have a lower tax rate. If you have a negative balance, it means that uh, more unemployment has been paid out than what you have paid in. So you're going to have to have a higher tax rate to make up that balance. Some states require employees to contribute to SUDA. Um, and that money would be withheld from their paycheck, just like the other taxes. Now, some states will reduce the rate if the employers make voluntary contributions to the state fund. And what this does, it, it increases their reserve account, so they'll end up with a positive balance, and then they'll have a lower tax rate overall for all the subsequent wages. Um, so uh, a lot of employers will do that because in the end, uh, putting in a voluntary contribution, the amount of that contribution will be less than what their higher tax rate will be on subsequent uh, wages.